Greeters provide such a valuable ministry to churches. You, the greeter, will be the first person a guest or visitor will see, and in some cases, the first glimpse of Jesus Christ. Here are some tips for greeters that can help you make the right impact on guests. Number one, keep your phone put away. With calls, texts, or notifications, having your phone out could cause you to be looking down or distracted from guests as they arrived. Don't choose a funny text or a phone call over a new relationship and miss out on a strong first impression. Number two, don't be embarrassed if you forget someone's name or offended if someone has forgotten yours. We should always offer grace to one another just as we would with new people. Perhaps you think you remember the face but can't recall the name. Try this approach. Hi, my name's Brandon. I think I've seen you here before, but I don't know if we've had the chance to be introduced. What's your name? Number three, guests and members occasionally arrive late even after the service is well underway. An excellent form of hospitality and service is to have at least one, possibly even two greeters in the main entrance at all times during the worship service. This greeter could provide assistance, directions, or serve as an information center host as well. Number four, the guests tend to leave church a little bit faster than the regular members do. So after the service ends, spend at least five minutes talking to someone new that you don't know and that you're confident is a guest. It takes most people about three minutes to exit the church after worship and you need to make sure that someone has made contact with them before they leave so that they don't feel like they're unwelcome. As a church greeter, you have become a frontline member of your church's ministry team. It's an amazing opportunity to extend God's love and to help set the tone for the upcoming worship experience. While you'll have the chance to talk with many visitors, you'll have many more nonverbal interactions in this role. So here are a few tips to help you make the most out of those silent greetings. Number one, the most basic, positive, nonverbal communication tool is a genuine smile. Your smile can dramatically change someone's experience at your church. In 1 Peter 4, 9 says, Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Show each guest that you're happy to be at church. And what's great about a genuine smile is that it communicates so much without a single word. Number two, how's your breath? Well, having bad breath is a quick way to leave a poor first impression. You'll be standing in close proximity to other people and you don't want to scare them away. Have some gum or mints for yourself and other members of the team. And if you're able to, place a basket of mints near the greeting area for greeters and guests. Number three, look each person in the eye. You should make an effort to look directly in the eye of everyone walking through the door. We're not suggesting an intimidating kind of look, rather a genuine look in the eye that says, I'm really glad to see you today. Thanks for visiting. People will feel acknowledged and cared about. Number four, be presentable. Attire should be nice, neat, and suitable for the position that you're serving. Outside greeters normally dress a little bit more casual than greeters stationed inside the building. You may have special instructions about attire, so be sure to talk with your team leader to get up to speed. Number five, and this one's the most important, be spiritually ready. Before you arrive, position your heart towards God. Say a prayer before you start serving that God will prepare you to see the needs of his people as they enter in for worship. Allow your heart and mind to be sensitive to the needs of people entering in. Pray for them and pray that God will allow you to make a positive impact on someone new every single time that you're given the chance to serve as a greeter. Visitors are more likely to return to a church if they're genuinely welcomed. The primary responsibilities of a greeter are to make sure that everyone who comes into the church feels welcomed and to give a first-time visitor a positive experience. You want them to know that they're cared for and that you are there to serve and assist them during their visit. Let's look at a few tips to help you prepare to be a greeter. Number one, be knowledgeable. Be prepared to answer questions that a visitor might have. For instance, a new family could need help locating where their teenager would go for a youth group, where the closest bathroom is located, etc. It's not only helpful to the guests, but it'll also keep things moving smoothly in the entranceways. Number two, have information at hand and be ready to hand out to the guest. Possible new members will be looking to gather as much information as possible to make their decision about your church. Be sure to give them a connection card, bulletin, or a welcome packet, something that they can look over or read later to learn how to get connected into the church. Number three, be on the lookout for guests and new families. Greeters should always look for new faces to make sure that no one comes to church and leaves without interaction from the regular attending church body. It's important that greeters not get caught up in the fun of weekly reconnecting with friends that they miss interacting with first-time guests. Avoid using pre- or post-service activities to conduct church business that could be done over the phone during the week. Always focus on the visitors. Number four, after a visitor walks away, watch to see if they 
appear lost or confused. Help visitors with directions to the sanctuary, cafe, a Sunday school class, childcare, etc. Don't just point in a direction. Navigating a new building can be confusing and it's easy to get lost. Walk visitors to where they need to be if at all possible. If you leave your designated greeting area, inform someone else on the staff and they might need to fill in your position while you're gone. First impressions are key. Normally, a guest has formed an opinion on whether to return to a church in the first three to five minutes of being there. This is why the team of greeters is of great importance. Here are four ways that you can use to make the best first impression possible. Number one, be in the right place. Making a great first impression with a guest is often as simple as being at the right place when they need help. You'll likely be given a position or place to stand each time you serve. That spot is important. Maybe it's opening a door or pointing the way to the information desk. In any case, you've been assigned to that spot for a reason and remaining in that spot is important. Number two, open the door for your guest. If you're a greeter positioned by a doorway or at a main entrance, have the door already open or open the door for people as they enter the building. You don't want to stand at a distance from the doors and make people open the doors by themselves. Opening doors for people is an easy way to extend service and show that you're there to help. Number three, give assistance and go beyond opening a door for someone. If you see a mom enter and can clearly see that she's got a diaper bag and a kid in her arms and walking with two other children, ask if you can be of any assistance, show her how to get the kids signed into the nursery and offer to carry a bag. This personal contact and greeting can assure someone that they're valued and that the church is glad that they're there. Number four, be on time. We would suggest to try to be available and ready to work before people start arriving. Generally, you should be available to start greeting guests and members 30 minutes before the start of service. Also, give about 10 to 15 minutes after the service to use that time to follow up with guests and maybe invite them back for the next service. 